Prince Harry back in the news this morning with reports that he faced a frosty reception from his family. Um, no surprises there. I just wonder what Auntie Anne had to say, Russell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. I think we know. I think we know. Um, we were. Everybody was looking forward to the fact that in the you know that watches all the royals that in the summer there's going to be this tribute to Princess Diana. Yes. Our two sons would be there, and that would really help build those bridges, but probably not. Well, I mean, it's the 64 thousand million yes, dollar question, isn't yes, it? I mean, yes. uh, will he, won't he? I mean, I, I'm still told that Prince Harry is really so hoping he wants to. to come back. Right. And this is quite an interesting point because uh, it's uh, the unveiling of the Princess Diana statue on July the 1st. Course, and the boys have been, you know, had a huge hand in this. Mm -hmm. um, and they obviously will want to put differences aside. A lot been made of their relationship of late, the, 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 the discussions that they had or didn't have after Prince Philip's funeral. So um, still told both brothers very, very com much committed. However, Meghan is heavily pregnant of course um, yeah. due to give birth in the early summer still don't know when that is but one would assume maybe sort of June time if mm -hmm. she goes over um, will it be an issue with him coming over now right. obviously he can jump on a private jet anytime he wants and fly over yeah and I'm sure he will want to uh, make every effort to get here however we may have, we may just be seeing William and Kate unveiling that statue. Mm. So I'm sure it would be a big shame, and everyone at the it palace would. will want them to be. No, of course from the they shoulder. would. Of course they would. But the thing is, he doesn't want to miss the birth of his baby girl. Exactly. That's like the most important thing ever. Very much so. Talking about um, his mum. Yes. Uh, her wedding dress is going on display with a lot of other things. Is this because the palaces are reopening again? Well, it is indeed, yeah. and this is quite exciting, actually. My fashion knowledge is being stretched to the <laughs> limit here. However, I mean, we all know the iconic... It was a big dress. dress. It was a big dress as it well. It was a big one. And uh, it was a, it's also featuring the 25-foot sequin-encrusted train, which was the longest in royal history. I didn't name it. was that it. big. It now, was like in The Sound of Music, you know, when Maria goes up the aisle. Very puffy. <laughs> it, was, it was like that, that great big train. Well, it's going on um, on show at Kensington Palace from June the 3rd to January the 2nd. And this is part of a special exhibition right. by Historic Royal Palaces. Gosh, it looks Victorian almost, I mean, it's incredible, it? isn't it? So it's, uh, it's, it's actually on loan from William and Harry, who actually own it these oh, days. Right, so they've okay. given it to the exhibition, which is also including some of the Queen Mother's uh, Dresses right. that were used in the coronation in 1937. So loads and loads of history. Get mm. down to it. Support the royal palaces because they are back open uh, very, very shortly. And this is going to be an, an exquisite exhibition. Be interesting to see that. It's part of history. It is part exactly history. part of history. Now look, William and Kate are hiring. This is if very interesting. If you're looking for a new job. Well, the description <laughs> is more like something from MI5. I mean, Go on, the, then. can you handle sensitive information with tact and discretion? Right. I think we can. We can. Uh, <laughs> are you a whiz on social media? Not too bad. Excellent interpersonal skills. Yes. Uh, so, well, anyway, this job might be for you. Do you think I should go for it? I think we should. <laughs> you know, we might have a face off. Um, anyway, it's advertised on LinkedIn. They've gone very, very... Uh, right. Uh, anyway, I advertise on LinkedIn. Can you deal with the Royal Foundation and their patronages? Um, I, it seems like a fantastic job. Senior Great communications job. officer. Yeah. Not bad. 37 exactly. hours a week. Yeah, I think those, although it would be a demanding job. Yeah, very much so. It'd be a demanding job, but I think they would be actually really rather lovely to work for. I so think there so. you are, yeah. if you fancy a change. Now, look, producers of The Crown. Mm. They're having a bit of a tough time yeah. um, regarding Prince Andrew, I believe. Well, it's a funny one, this. I mean, yeah. it's the, you know, one of the biggest shows in the world. However, the casting directors are apparently having an issue filling the role of Prince Andrew. Now, Tom Byrne uh, is the actor who has been playing Prince Andrew. He is leaving for the new series and they cannot fill the role. So many have been saying, is the role of Prince Andrew so toxic that now... Uh, you know, out of work actors don't even want to take this role, and for one of the biggest shows in the world. That's so, true. I'm um, sure there'll be somebody. For goodness sake, they find people to play serial killers. I pillars. mean, they might, they <laughs> you know, surely they can find somebody to play him. Anyway, the the, the, the role is being advertised on the uh, the actor database Spotlight, and it's been really? advertised as a very good role. I mean, I think that's an understatement because it's one of the most popular shows in it the world. It sure is. However, they still are struggling. So. They are, a bit, they are a bit. Now, look, our lovely Kate Galloway, our very own Kate, who now has got Derek back home, which yes. is fantastic news. Her husband has been so, so ill 
so, so ill. And the Royals got in touch with her. Well, apparently... This is really nice. I mean, this is in Kate's new book she's released uh, called The Power of Hope, and it's all about Derek's struggle with coronavirus. Obviously, millions and millions of people have followed her story. The ITV sure. documentary, hugely well-received. Um, and she has revealed that a member of the royal family, she didn't say who, but got in touch and said, listen, we obviously have access to some amazing oh, doctors wow. through our charities and our patronage work. Would you like us to put in touch? Now, here, she hasn't revealed who that is, but some people are suggesting perhaps it was Prince William. They did the Pride of Britain Awards last right, year. Right. So the there are no names being mentioned, right. but I think a wonderful, wonderful gesture. Lots of people are hugely behind Kate and Derek, and certainly the royal family are as well. So we exactly. wish them all the best. Oh, we absolutely do, now that he's back at home. Yeah, but but that was a lovely thing to do. I bet they do that quite a lot and we'll never hear about it. Well, this is it, Don't isn't it? And not just to people who are in the public eye. I think they do, I think they do actually. Well, they've got a lot of links with a lot of charities, a lot of their patronages, sure. and I'm sure, you know, it's something that they felt that they could do at the time. Fascinating. Thank you. So you're not going to go for the Prince Andrew job? You then? never know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, there'll be actors desperate to do that. It'd be a great part to play. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.